Making thumbnails out of stuff in Photoshop is super easy. Um, I'm just going to go to image size, change the resolution to 72, and I want to look at this at 100%. So this will be the image that it would open up when you click on the thumbnail. So I'm going to do a shift command S to save as. And in my portfolio, I'm going to call this a JPEG. And I'm going to call this Mod 10, because we had an event flyer for Mod 10. So that's Mod 10 JPEG. OK. To make the thumbnail, I'm going to go to Image Size, change the width to 250. Shift Command S, Mod 10 Thumb dot jpeg make sure it's in the images folder I'm gonna hit cancel because I actually don't want to replace the one I have already but anyways that's how you would do it it's super easy now what about illustrator well illustrator is pretty easy too open up the file you want to make a thumbnail from Uh, copy everything. Actually, I'm not going to copy everything right now, just to show you a little quicker. I'm just going to do the iPad. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go over to Photoshop. Do File New. And it's taken a little while, it's okay. It always takes a little while to transfer things from Illustrator to Photoshop because there's a lot of data involved. All right, I want to make sure the resolution's at 72. And it's actually good to have RGB color. And now I'm going to hit Apple V to paste. I want to paste as pixels. All right, I'm going to resize it just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to hit enter. And it's a little too big. So what I have to do is crop out the bottom part that I don't need because essentially the reflection sort of dies down and it really can't be seen below, say, like right here. So I'm just going to select what I want to keep with the marquee selection tool. And I'm going to go to image, crop. And now I'm going to do file, save as. I'm going to save this as the larger version, so JPEG, and I'm going to call this iPad.jpg. And now I'm going to make a small thumbnail version of it. So I can go to image, image size, 250, and I'll save this as iPad thumb dot jpeg if you want the transparency in the background to be preserved choose png instead of jpeg but if you want a white background choose jpeg I'm fine with the white background so this is actually 100% size and that's how you make thumbnails from illustrator